championship week. We've done the wild card round. We've done the divisional round. For WVTV, I'm the Candyman. On this week's installment, we'll be projecting the winners in the conference championship games. And alongside me are the usual suspects. We got our producer, Dano, with his picks. Robo, Andrew Poje, and Brebs. Yes, before we move forward with our predictions for championship Sunday, we'll go over our records. Dano is currently 7-3, wishing he had jumped on the Bills bandwagon earlier this season. Robo is also at 7-3, riding the Western New York wave of Buffalo craziness and supporting the Bills Mafia. Andrew is currently at 5-5 five and five with an eye on regaining ground. Brebs is leading the way and setting the bar really high for the rest of us here at 8-2. and two. And myself, the Candyman, is at 7-3. and three. Boy, I wish I went with those bills last week. I would be 8-2, and two, and I wouldn't be in trouble with my family. So Dano said he's glad to have the AFC North finally eliminated from the playoffs. Robo, tell us about that Bills Mafia magic. Let's go, Buffalo. I think Allen just got to be on a roll. Their defense is quick, and their run game's got to come, and, and they're going to the Super Bowl. Andrew, what did you see last weekend? Uh, the greatest game that I saw last weekend was the Bucks and Saints, and the most wholesome part of it was at the end where Tom Brady was playing with Drew Brees' kids. I think that was just wholesome for them. That was a nice career moment for those two future Hall of Famers. Brebs, you're the top dog. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I've been riding A-Rod and the Packers this whole year, and I really think they can make the Super Bowl. Okay, gentlemen, let's have it. This week, before we give our picks, we must give one key that would make victory possible for each team. The first game up is Bucks at the pack, Lambeau Field. Dano says the key to a Bucks victory is getting turnovers. And for the Packers, it's in having a balanced attack. In the end, he sees the Bucks winning. Robo, what are your keys and then your pick? I have to agree with Dano. I think Tampa Bay has got to get some takeaways and they got to capitalize that. Uh, into some points. Brady has to turn those into points. And I think uh, for Green Bay, Roger just has to have the game of his life. No turnovers. They got to run the game. Their running game's got to be solid. Um, and we'll see who comes out on top. But ultimately, I'm going to have to go with Tampa Bay on this one. Andrew, what do you see in this contest? And how does this game play out? Uh, for the Bucks to win, I think they need to keep it uh, out of the hand of Aaron Rodgers. And then for the Green Bay Packers to win, I think they need to force a lot of turnovers on Brady and, and keep the uh, pass offense really good. And in, in the end, I think the Green Bay Packers will win the game. Brebs, you've been on fire so far. Please share some wisdom with us. So I think the Bucks, their key to win this game is create turnovers off Rodgers. And for the Packers to win – they need to pressure Brady because Brady does not do good against pressure. And Aaron Rodgers needs to have a good game. And the Packers, in the end, are going to win. For me, in order for the Bucs to be successful, they got to stop that running back trio of Aaron Jones, Jamal Williams, and A.J. Dillon of Green Bay. Because when Green Bay sets up the running game, you can set up the play action for Aaron Rodgers to go to his other weapons. Not like Aaron Rodgers can't play well without his other weapons. But it would help. All you know, they're deep. They, look at the play of the linebackers that from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this past weekend with all the interceptions. So stop the running game is the key for the Bucs, and then Tom Brady will be Brady. In order for Green Bay to win, pressure Brady. In the end, it's a tough contest for me to choose because whoever has the ball last in their hands will probably win. But I'm gonna have to go with the Green Bay Packers since they're at home, since they're at Lambeau Field, and Aaron Rodgers will play in his second Super Bowl. Okay, the second Sunday game off is the Bills at Kansas City Chiefs. Daniel says for the Bills, prior to injury to Mahomes, he would have said alien abduction to Mahomes is the only thing that can stop them. But since this is downshift to a balanced attack, and for the Chiefs, it's enforcing Josh Allen to do too much. He apologized for being late, but he is now ready to jump on that Buffalo Bills bandwagon. Uh, for, for, the, for the Chiefs to win, whether it's Henny, whether it's Pat Mahomes, and Pat Mahomes is currently in, in concussion protocol, it's all about Tyreek Hill for me. He's their playmaker, okay? If Tyreek Hill is the Tyreek Hill he usually is by just playing backyard ball when the play is broken or running his routes, scoring, that sets up Travis Kelsey. The running game is a little suspect here. We don't know if Edward Hilaire is going to be back. Le'Veon Bell has been a mess. The Chiefs to win, it's all about Tyreek Hill no matter who the quarterback is, okay? I just think the Bills are on the roll. 
Josh Allentown, Mafia Magic, uh, Steph Diggity Dogs is on fire. Okay, I think for them to win, Josh Allen has to connect with S Steph Diggs uh, right away. Okay, Cole Beasley, I think, is playing hurt a little bit. John Brown hasn't done much. And their defense has got to commit to zone like they did against Lamar Jackson. Commit to the zone, okay? Don't play one-on-one -on -one because the playmakers of Kansas City outweigh the Bills. However, hey, hey, hey let's go, Buffalo. I am going with the Bills. Brebs, what are the keys to this game for you? How do you see it? Who do you see moving on to the Super Bowl to represent the AFC? So if the Bills want to advance to – their first Super Bowl in forever, then they have to um, keep not necessarily the Mahomes if Mahomes is playing, but that offense off the field and really like have a balanced attack. And Josh Allen you know, can just carry that offense. And for the Chiefs, they're just going to have to rely heavily on if Mahomes isn't playing, they're going to have to rely heavily on Kelsey making plays and Hill making plays. And I'm picking the Bills. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. Andrew, what can make this game a shocker for each side and who will ultimately win out? All right, so for the Bills, I think they need Patrick Thompson not play the game because if he plays, I think I think the Chiefs will win. Uh, and for the Chiefs, uh, if they need to force a lot of turnovers on Josh Allen, and uh, in the end, I see the, the Chiefs going to the, to the Super Bowl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow, Robo. Andrew's got the Chiefs. Tell us how you think this game is going to end up. Well, first of all, Missouri. Who even knows where Missouri is? <laughs> it's, it's even on the map is because of Kansas City. Um, I think, uh, you know, I hate to see players in, injured, so I hope Mahomes is back um, come Sunday. Um, I don't want, you know, it to be down where uh, Mahomes wasn't there. That's why the Bills – Bills moved in advance to the Super Bowl. But ultimately, I think, uh, you know, Buffalo has to play good defense. Their defense has the speed. I think they got to contain Mahomes like they did um, against last week's game and uh, ultimately, you know, play their pass defense and just shut that that run down, um, make Mahomes pass it outside, hopefully for some turnovers. So I think that's what they have to do defensively. Offensively, you know, Singletary is going to have to step up. Uh, they can run the ball when they want to, but I think that their their ground game is going to play a big role in their their victory here this weekend. Um, I think that as far as the Chiefs, um, you know, they have to watch Allen's long ball. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we got some trick plays in there too from Buffalo, but ultimately that their defense is going to have to be solid, try to force some turnovers, you know, and really stop uh, Allen's cannon of an arm that he has and his accuracy that that's been on point all year here. So ultimately in the end, you know, I have to go with my team, the Buffalo Bills. So let's go, Buffalo. Thanks, Robo. And I'm sure Brian Dable will be drawing it up from the offensive side of his, as he's the OC there and he's been doing it all year. Well, guys, there you have it. Five guys giving their picks on championship weekend. We will see who will be packing their bags to play in the Super Bowl or Tampa Bay, in Tampa Bay, excuse me, and who will be packing up to the, go to their favorite golf courses and set their tee times with their buddies or their colleagues and friends. So there you have it. Championship weekend is among us. We The picks are in for WVTV. I'm Ryan Candia. We'll see you next time. <laughs>